the B2B headquarters in South West London. My name is William Hymarch, Managing Director. Today we're here to judge the Supercharged competition, which was the free competition, which was the Porsche 911 Black Forest Tour, which ran from October the 9th to November the 6th. I'd now like to introduce Leon Farr from Onside Law, who will be overseeing proceedings today. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Leon Farr from Onside Law, and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. <coughs> Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditors Wilkins Kennedy. I would now like to introduce today's judges and ask them to pick a car out of the bag to determine their seating position. First up we have Mr Peter Georgie. Good morning. Good morning Peter. Hi, I'm Peter. I'm uh, an, an AFA senior consul and port monitory tutor, mentor and assessor. Thank you Peter. And next up we have Mr Matt Cannon. Morning, Matt. Morning. Um, my name is Matt Kenner. I'm the senior county referee. I referee for the AFA and on the Southern Amateur League, and I still play football. Morning. Third up, we have Mr. Trevor Weaver. Morning. Morning, Trevor. Good morning, I'm Trevor Weaver. I've been refereeing for nearly 30 years now. I'm currently refereeing on the amateur football combination and the Southern Amateur League. Okay, Trevor. Yeah. Next up we have Mr. Leo Donnellan. Hi Leo. Hi Leo. Hello, my name is Leo Donnellan. I'm an ex-professional football player, having played for Chelsea, Fulham and Leighton Orient. Yeah, just two left. Green. And finally we have Mr. Matthew Ray. Hello, Leo. Matthew. Hi, my name is Matthew Ray. I'm affiliated in multiple counties across England and have refereed from grassroots to professional academies. One left, Matthew. And that leaves us with red card. Thank you. Okay, judges, please mark on the screen where you think the centre of the ball should be. I will ask you to do this individually for a few minutes before justifying your position. I'll then ask you all to come to a panel decision on the central screen. <laughs> Okay, judges, thanks very much. Okay, Matthew, you can talk me through your position, please. Okay, from um, well, the way I see it, we've got two players who we can accurately gauge are looking at the ball. Player on the far left of the photo in the red, and player on the far right of the photo in the white. Um, I don't think anyone's jumping or challenging for the ball just yet, so I think it's quite far away from, um, from them. Um, so I've used the player in the white on the right, looking quite up and to the left. Um, and also the, the player in the red on the left and line those two projections up and, and that's why I've placed the ball where I have done. Thanks Matthew. Okay Trevor, can you talk me through your position please? Yes, um, four players in shot. Um, the player on the far right of the screen is giving us the best indication I believe. Uh, the other player in white is seen to be looking at the opposition player over on the left hand side rather than the ball. The red player on the far left, he's looking up, but I think he's looking more towards his, the number 10, his own player. So the ball is somewhere, in my opinion, between number 10 and the number uh, and the white player on the right. So working on that, I've placed my mark there. Okay, Leo, if you could talk me through your position, please. Yeah, th there's four players in and around the ball. Um, nobody's off the ground, nobody's jumping, so... Um, I'm gauging it more on the player on the left, the far left, than the player on the far right. I think the player on the far right will head the ball, but I don't think the ball is particularly high. That's why nobody's jumping. Um, and just looking at their body shapes, that's where I sort of gauge well. I'm going to put the ball. Um, the player on the left, his eye line's looking upwards, and the player on the right, who I still believe will head this ball, um, he's fairly concentrated on the ball. so. Judging mainly by those two players, that's where I put my cross. Thanks, Leo. Okay, Matt, if you could talk me through your position, please. Yeah, I actually think the ball is closer to the right hand uh, white player who's looking directly at the ball. Uh, he's got his forehead is sort of uh, furrowed and he's got a, you know, that look of concentration on his face. And I think he's ready to head the ball. Uh, the guy on the far left in red is looking at the general player and I think he's looking at the ball. Um, and the two other players are just, you know, looking at general play. 
Um, so I've looked at the, the white player's eyes and I've cross-referenced those with the, uh, the far left player's eyes and I've put the ball where I have, which is above the white player's head in the middle uh, and just above. And that's where I put my cross. Thank you. And Peter, if you could talk me through your position, please. <coughs> yeah, I think uh, three players involved, uh, two red and one uh, white on the right-hand side. I agree that the best uh, guide would be the guy on the, on the right hand side. Uh, so, I've, I've, with his angle of his head and also his his eyes are looking further up than actually his face is. I've gone with an angle across like that, upwards, just above number 10's head. And the reason, reason why I put it there is the guy on the left hand side is actually looking at number 10. There's no reason why you should be not looking at number 10 if the ball's not there. So, I've placed it. Uh, the centre of the ball there. Thanks, Peter. Okay, judges, please now come to a panel decision on the central screen. Okay, so we need to get the average height. Yeah, it's not away from more or less. Right, 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 right. On that on that edge of the building is yeah. about the right. top of the building, I would say. Uh, I think probably the that? average is further to the left. Mm. What bit more? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Just there? But, Maybe, yeah. Quite a spread there, haven't we? Yeah. I mean, I'm obviously way further to the right. I mean, I've gone the, the player in 10 is obviously in the picture is very blurred, very, very out of focus. Yeah, yeah. So he's not in the same plane as the guy who we all think is going to play the ball. Yeah. So I've looked at that as, you know, the guy on the far yeah, left. Yeah, I don't yeah, think he's yeah. looking at the right. I well, think he's looking at that. That's where I've put the plane. If you well, put that line. That's why I've done so, yeah. it. Can we have a look at his eyes? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Really, yeah. 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 Far right, but maybe he's not looking as high as, as, as I would have put it. Maybe I, I don't know how accurately we gauge something from that. <coughs> but I quite like the projection that's coming from the white. I think we're going to all be quite confident. I think he's right. definitely we've got, we've got the right yeah. line. The right oh, line. Oh, yeah, we've got it's how far it goes, isn't it? Yeah, and these three are more or less on the same <laughs> trajectory, aren't they? Yeah. That way. Um, my arm, my arm, uh, putting it slightly above his head yeah, just there was. The guy on the, on the left hand side, no reason why he should be not looking at the ball, and even though he's looking at number 10, so that's where I'll, I'll, I'll put it in that area there. But as Matt says, if he's so far away, he wouldn't be looking maybe at the ball, he's looking for the next phase of what well, he's so yeah, looking at the ball. Yeah. What, about, what, about about the the ball. Yeah. Yeah, what about the white player's eyes? Is it, I mean, yeah. I went for you know, I've, we're all yeah, on the more or less, well, yeah. not all of us, but. Can you put it? I mean, the fire on the. I mean, the mean is there of that? That's that about sort of there ish. Yeah. Above the so red planes up here, really. You just move it so the cross isn't quite. That's, you see, that's yeah. fairly steep, isn't it? That's what I think that's another reason I put it closer to him. I think yeah. over, to the, over, to the, over to the left. Yeah. Yeah, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. If you're so going that high, it's got to go to the left. To keep the same height. Oh, it's it's almost over his ear, isn't it? Yeah, almost. The red player so, tends here. Yeah. Come across there. So that one. And I think it's probably so that way. Over there, yeah. That way as well. There. This player on the in the red on the left hand side is is looking could be looking at the ball, could be looking at the player, but it's it's yeah. all in that same line, isn't it? Yeah. So both scenarios make sense. I still yeah. think he's looking at the ball. But he's gonna hit the ball. He's he's gonna, gonna, yeah, we all agree on that. Yeah. yeah, I mean again, I'll compromise coming over, but I still would say that his, his, his forehead is firing, he's, he's ready to head the ball. Yeah, I agree with that, yeah. And how well that pushes you, yeah, you can. That's yeah. obviously, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so, I mean, you can even say it, it could be coming into number ten. 10. It could be got so we we yeah, 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 yeah. You could say it coming into number 10, yeah, really. Well, so. we're pretty good average there yeah. between us, aren't we? I mean, and he, he's looking, yeah. so that works, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, well, you were Trevor, wasn't it? Take that more. I'm happy with that. I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, judges, a healthy discussion there. Um, has everybody got anyone, anything else to contribute? Or is everybody happy with the compromise position that you've chosen? Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, in that case, I'll submit that judgment. Okay, 
so that's 956 607 956 607. Thank you judges, that concludes the judging process, thank you very much.